Hey guys, so today I'm back with another video and today I'm showing you how I edit my Instagram pictures. This is one of my most highly requested videos, you guys always ask for this and you've also been asking for what's on my iPhone. If you haven't seen that video yet, I uploaded it a few days ago and I'll leave the link to it in the description. But today I'm showing you how I edit my Instagram pictures and kind of like my theme and stuff like that and yeah. I also kind of wanted to dip into how I make money on Instagram because I get a lot of questions about it so I think I'm trying to run you through that at the end because yeah. So I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to get into this video. If you enjoy please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share it, you know, all that jazz. It would mean the absolute world to me but let's just move on on how I edit my Instagram pictures. So, the two apps that I use are VSCO Cam and Afterlight, but I use VSCO Cam a lot more and I kind of use Afterlight for just like bits and bobs. So, let's open VSCO Cam first. It takes a little while to load. I should put like a tumbleweed like going across the screen right now because it's taking so long. Okay. So, with VSCO Cam, what I really, really like is the fact that they give you the option to download loads of free filters. So, as you can see here, there are so many filters you can download. A lot of them, the ones that I have are all free. I've never bought a filter on here, but they're really inexpensive. And they're really, like, they're worth it. In my opinion, like, if you want a great Instagram, like, it's like £3 for a filter. So, you know, if you enjoy editing pictures and you enjoy photography, then, yeah. So as you can see here, I kind of have my theme all laid out, like, down here so I can see everything. So, let's just pick a picture that I've already got. Um, let's use this one. This is quite a nice picture. So you open it, you tap on those three bars. So this is the picture without anything done to it, just the original picture. I have really messed up little fingers as you can see. Then you can go across and look at all of the different filters that they have to offer. I always use F2, HB1 or HB2. So this is F2, this is HB1 and this is HB2. For this one I think HB1 looks the best. Then I'm going to tap the little arrow at the bottom, tap those two bars again, tap the little sun and take the exposure down too because I prefer that a lot. And that's everything I do to it in VSCO Cam. So now I'm going to save that to my camera roll. I'm going to save it as the actual size. I never do it small or anything like that. Once that's saved to my camera roll, I'm going to head over to Afterlight. This app is £1.79, but, like, you know, I like the app. I think it's worth it. Once you go on there, you have these little bars here that just like adjust the brightness, so I can add like a filter to it, like a little tint. It also has its own filters like across the bottom here, but I feel like they're very Instagram-esque, you know what I mean? Like the pre-built-in filters on Instagram, I feel like they really remind me of them. I use this mainly for the dust filters and the light leaks. So for this one, I want to go with something in the top left corner, so I'm going to go with number one. I feel like number one will work best. And you can tap that little circle to change the colour of the filter. I want to find something a little bit pink or blue. This one is perfect. And I'll take that down a little bit so it's not as noticeable, but there's just like a little flare. Once I've done that, I'm going to add a little bit of dust because that's what I'm feeling. Just like a tiny bit, like so. I'll take that down. And that would be that for that picture. I love it. I think it looks really cute. And it would look great on my Instagram. I mean, it's already there, but you know. Now I want to show you guys how I edit a selfie or something like that, so let's go with this one. So this is a picture without anything done to it, like just a raw picture from my phone. Again, I use F2, HB1 or HB2. So there's F2, here's HB1 and here's HB2. I think HB1 looks... Ooh, maybe HB2, maybe F2 actually. I like F2 on this one because it makes the eyeshadow look a little bit more pink. I'm again going to go on there and just take the exposure down to, which looks really cute. And I'm just going to save it like that. I don't like doing too much to selfies because I don't like over editing them and just like, you know, I like it to still look like me and not like super edited and different. So I'm going to select that new picture that I just imported and tap those two bars again. As you can see, this is a very blue picture, a very blue tone picture, and I kind of like that. So let's have a look at F2. 
feel like F2 makes it a little bit too cold. HB1 and then HB2. I think out of HB1 and F2, it's going to have to be F2 because the floor looks different. So for that one, I'm going to stick with that one. So I'm going to go with F2 and I'm going to select that. I wonder if there's any tints I can pop. Another thing I like about VSEO Cam is the fact you can change the temperature of a picture so you can have a cool tone picture or you can have a warm tone picture. For this one, I'm going to make it a little bit warmer. Maybe three? Yeah, I really like three. I feel like that'll fit with my theme a lot better. I'm going to save that to my camera roll again. So I've done that now. I'm not going to edit anything in Instagram. If you want to add text or anything like that to your pictures, I recommend downloading Fonto. I didn't really use it that much. I probably use it once, like every three months, so I just removed the app. But if you want to add text, that's the way to do it. I'm going to add the caption of filming a video right now. And any guesses? So now that's posted, it's literally that simple. I don't edit my pictures too much, like I just keep it really simple and easy because who has the time to spend an hour editing an Instagram picture? So as you obviously know, I'm a YouTuber, I do YouTube, and a lot of the time if a brand sees that I have an Instagram account, they'll also like a post on there. You guys know that I've worked with High Smile a lot in the past, so they would say, oh, we'd like an Instagram video or an Instagram post and a YouTube video. And obviously I would charge separate things for those things, or I could do like a bundle type thing, and that is one of the ways that brands approach me for earning money on Instagram, making posts for them. I also have a business account on Instagram, which means that when you go on my account, you can follow me and you can click contact, which will give you direct access to my business email address. So if a brand sees my Instagram page, thinks, oh, she's got a decent amount of followers, and I really like the way that her page is set out, they can click contact and say, hey, would you be interested in doing a post for me? I recently worked with a company called Badu. I absolutely love the app and I made a social post for them on Instagram and obviously they would just pay me for the post before it went live. Never ever post a picture before you paid for it, ever, just don't do it. And that's one of the ways. If you're not really a YouTuber or you don't have the biggest following, then I think a great way to contact brands is through Famebit. I'll leave a link to it in the description. You can sign up with your Instagram account and then you can reach out to brands that you like on there. I think it's a great way to earn a little bit of money and it's fun as well. Like you get to work with really cool brands. It's like, I don't know, it makes you feel like, I don't know, I really enjoy doing like making a really cool picture for a brand and like I have always wanted to work in advertising and stuff like that and I guess doing that is a way to kind of dabble in it a little bit which I think is so fun and so exciting. So yeah, I tried to quickly mention that. So that is everything I wanted to mention in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I love you so much and I will see you tomorrow with a new video. Bye!